इन दिस वीडियो सुपर प्रॉब्लम रोमन टू इंटीजर ऑल दो अगेन आई कैन नॉट शो दैट बिकॉज वो ऊपर है एंड उसके नीचे कंपनी टैक्स है बट I have told you, come back. So you know, I know that the question says that you have Roman numbers R, and and they represented by seven different symbols. As you know, okay, it's I, V, X, L, C, and D, and correspond to every one. I know what is the value corresponding to every one of them. That also I know. Now, what the question says is that you will be giving. Some Roman numeral you have to figure out the corresponding value. But yeah, how to do that? So mapping of a Roman numeral to the corresponding number they have already given. So in general, let's say if they are written x x, so you know x is ten. So ten plus ten plus v is five plus i plus i is actually one 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 one. So it will be a twenty seven, and that is what they have also written. But 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 there is a catch. In Roman numbers, you also write some numbers that it is not in order. It is that okay? If I want to write a, let's say four, I want to write a four. Then I don't write one 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 one. I don't write that. I write it like that. I and V, which means for some specific numbers, I have some pattern out, and they have also given that pattern also. It says that I can be placed before a V, which is a five, X can and X, which is a ten. And it can make a four and nine. So in case to make a four, you will actually place a i before a v. In case of nine, you are you will place a i before a x. And the same way to make a forty, you will place a x before a l. Ninety x before a c. To make a five hundred, sorry, to make a actually four hundred, you will place a c before a d. And also you will place a c before a m to make a nine hundred. So these are the cases which you will actually be making out. So. You saw what is the special in this cases? Like what is the special? Like usually, okay, you have a x x v one one or v i i. Now what is some special? You will see smaller number which is actually i. You will see i is a i corresponds to one. Again, I mean I say small number. I mean corresponding their mapping. I will maintain this mapping itself from Roman numerals to so actually their integer values. I will maintain that. Now smaller number i placed before a larger number which is v or a x. Then I'll subtract that number from the value, which is the larger number. So I'll subtract this number. If smaller number is placed before a larger number, I am subtracting. I'm doing a v minus one. That is what it shows. Shows right. All these things. I'll do a x minus i. I'll do a l minus x. I'll do a c minus x. I'll do a d minus c. I'll do a m minus c. When a smaller number is placed before a larger numeral, I'm subtracting that to get the actual value. But in this case, you will see. Okay, the number is greater or equal. Okay, it is equal. It is actually greater. It is again greater. It is again equal. So when it is greater or equal, then you just simply keep on adding. If it is less, then you subtract that. So now we have got to know one thing, which is actually very good to visualize that. Okay, if I have previously my lesser number, I'll subtract that. If I have a greater number, then I'll add that. Okay. So I am this i index. I'll just check for i plus one. If something else extra ahead of me, if it is more, oh. I have to subtract myself. So next, I'll check. Okay, it is a C. Oh, C is less than M. C is less than M. So simply add M. Add M. Now when I say add M, you will have a mapping. You will have a mapping from these alphabets map to these numbers. So you will have an unordered map in which you can hard code these six or seven variables which you have right now here. Now okay, next I can go on to my next step which is C. So again, I'll just check C M. What is there? Okay. I'll subtract C is actually less than M, so you have to subtract C, right? So I'll subtract that C. Okay, great. Now I'm M at oh M is more than X, so simply add corresponding to your M. Again, the current answer is on the right side, which I am keep on building, keep on building. Now okay, X is actually less than C, so subtract the value of X. C is actually more than I, so add the value of C. I is more than like le less than V, so subtract the value of I, and then ultimately V is the last element, so simply add that. So that's how you can simply get it solved. So the question says exactly we'll do same stuff. Firstly, we will be, we will be making a map. Now, as we made the map, now map is as simple as what the problem itself is saying. No mind from our side. That's it. And next, I will go on and initialize my answer. That's the final answer. I'll go on to all of my indexes. I'll check for the next element, which is i plus one. I plus I am at i. I check for i plus one. Correspondingly, I'll get okay. What's a string value? Okay, what is a Roman numeral? Corresponding to Roman numeral, what it its integer value? Okay, its integer value. If if I am less than the next number, which means I have to be subtracted, so I'll be subtracted. 
the value will be subtracted else the value will be added and that's how you can simply get this solved so with this you can simply get this solved in o of one time in o of one space because your string length is very small and that's how you can simply get this solved i hope they got it bye bye and again you know the comment tags also bye, -bye.